Hi, Isaac. This is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with Eric. And as promised, here's your website analysis. So we'll be going over some few things that can actually help you rank higher, bring you more traffic, and of course, get you more customers. So let's start off with your website. You do have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo here. You have good photos, nice layout, good amount of content. You also have client testimonials. So yeah, there's actually just some few things we're gonna get over for us to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. Okay, so currently you have 611 words, not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal or target of 1500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing I would like to talk about as well are keywords. So Google is actually looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I actually did a quick search of the roofers in Houston, Texas. We'll be talking more about the results that we have here, starting off with the first one. So these are the sponsored, where people are actually paying ads for their website to show up here. Um, so we're not going to be talking much about the sponsored ones, but rather we'll move on to the next part. Um, so the next part we have here is what we call the map pack. And this is actually something wherein you really would like to be on since these are the ones that, you know, generates a lot of traffic, a lot of attention, and are easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information in as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, that will also help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are actually all the websites that rank higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And of course, that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of your top competitors' website, and let's see what they have differently. So looking at their website, they also have a pretty good looking website. They have good photos, nice layout, client testimonials, good amount of content. So let's just dig deeper with the numbers instead. So this is Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to actually have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll be talking more about the numbers, so I have your website pulled up here. Let's start off with DR. So this is actually the level of trust that Google has in your website, and strength, or, or I mean, and UR would be the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, this or other website that refers to your website, so they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and alike. I also have your competitor's website pulled up on another window. And let's see what they have differently. So starting off with DR and UR, it actually shows that they have more numbers, which just simply means that Google finds their website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. And the reason why that happened is because they have more backlinks. They also have more keywords, which resulted to more traffic. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk more about backlinks and keywords, and let's discuss what the importance of this two are. So starting off with backlinks or what we call the referring domains. So as you can see, these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're currently ranking higher in the searches. Next will be the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for this specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are all the hits or clicks that they're getting with the help of each keyword. So that's actually how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website easier and quicker. Another thing I would like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. 
So let's go ahead and use this photo as an example. So if we save this photo and instead of naming it with a generic file name with all these numbers and letters, you can actually rename it with a hidden keyword. You can also do it with the same thing with, or you can also do the same thing with the other photos we have here. That way you'll have more hidden keyword added to your website. And not only that, for those words to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can definitely do to improve your ranking would first be the number of content where we're going to add more words to your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. Next would be the backlinks where we're going to add your information to as, man to as many more uh, directories as possible like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and so on and so forth. That way we can actually bring you more traffic and of course the higher chances of your website to appear in the map pack. Last but not the least would be the keywords where we're going to help you out in choosing the right keywords and adding more keywords to your homepage. That way more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So that's actually all that I have for now. If you have any further questions, feel free to call us or email us back so that we can tell you the next steps and the other things that we can do. Thank you so much for your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.